Oh yeah. I'm and 16, you, but we ain't gonna talk about that. I'm not bitter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Har Snow and MGW, I am. I have not made this clear yet. I am. I am not going to be biased here, but I am a very big fan of MGW. Me and him are the homies. I've been a fan of his Greninja since the Smash Four days, and I'm glad to I see. I mean, if him you if you know on. the name, you know he's a cool guy. Oh, exactly. Playing a cool character, he's going up against. Harsno, who I'm not very familiar with, but they appear to be playing Peach. Peach. We don't have a lot of Peaches in this area, so it's good to see the character variety. But from my, from what I remember, and a lot of the, a lot of this matchup, this matchup in particular, I've played a couple of people for it. Mm -hmm. The air to airs, it's, it's the game is very, very complicated to a degree because Peach is able to what the hell, Mr. Saturn already, Mr. Saturn said hello. <laughs> He, he wants to come in for that Thanksgiving dinner. He's like, you know, you got, I heard ham. I'm getting that first slice. Exactly. Get me in there. But for the air-to-air -air game, Peach is able to play it at whatever height that she wants to. But when mm. she's high above, Grenade is able to get those, uh, get to stuff her out. The air-to-air -air game sometimes favors Peach, but to a degree, a Grenade player can mainly adapt and just get the, get the hits in like that. Absolutely. <laughs> So I think it's hard to it's hard to tame the habit of jumping, especially for both of these characters. I mean, so, just this game, because everyone's unless your name is Kazuya Mishima, everyone's jump is frame three. Exactly, but from from here, I think that that what it's gonna come down to, mm -hmm. it's more the ground game than anything, because both of them can jump. It's a matter of who places which aerial where like that. And who, and um, who is able to get the aerial out first? I do see Stitch faces oh, out. Stitch. Oh, Stitch! Oh, okay, she made it. Okay, yeah. And narrowly avoiding getting clocked for like 40% because of Greninja's mm -hmm. like low standing uh, hurt box. And I like the, like the way you just did it, down, down tilt in the forward air again. If you don't succeed, try, try, keep trying. You're going to get it. <laughs> but I think... From how this oh, is almost. I, I like I like the attempt. The idea was there, just mm -hmm. just a little off the mark. Okay, okay. I oh. I don't see Peaches do that often. That's Fourth though should definitely do it. Yeah. Also, I just noticed. I think Harsno probably did it on purpose. The song it's playing now is called "Plucking Tulips," mm -hmm. and they're Peach main. Up. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. You, you gotta love the small things like that. That that tells you a lot about a player. I think a lot of these a lot of these jump ins and these uh, aerial oh. interactions are starting to become a bit telegraphed on both sides, but mainly MGW because he's getting hit very like a, getting a lot of damage tackled on, mm -hmm. and he's given up a lot of uh, free opportunities to get some of the anti airs in. Ooh, Ooh. Hell, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, and you can see it on his face too. He didn't want that. That was going to be that the hottest be clip of the night, and to it's, open this is up too? and this is only our first set, first game too. <laughs> but, but that's just the kind of player he is. Just like if, oh, if yeah. he says some, he says if you see some uh, crazy oh, nonsense, no. he'll do it. I see up there. That's not gonna kill yet, surprisingly. But ooh, more neutral game. Get yeah, get tip by. And that's the micro spacing that you got to keep in mind. Oh, yep, you see the, you see the hand movement. Mm -hmm. If you're from New York, you know we got to move them hands. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we're at last stock. Moving that uh, swift kunai. Mm -hmm. Nice forward air to even up the game despite things looking a little rough at the that beginning. That, that neutral arrow was almost about to trade, but I think just probably to stay grounded. Like, aerials like those. Aerials like those. You need to place them a bit above. So the only option that you're able to they're able to go for is forward air, which will probably miss, uh -oh. and up air, which would head at the tip. So you have to you have to place those neutral airs like that. Or try to get off top. Would that have killed at that percent? Uh, probably, probably. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's enough. Enough smash. I don't think. Ooh. Yeah. I'm oh, dead. Dead. that that di looked a little suspect, but it might not have mattered. MGW warming up his hands, getting oh, yeah. that fresh game one. Get the hands going. This is the season. Like, I should have I should have bought them before I came in today, but oh, yeah. there there are like places near here that sell hand warmers. Home for, like, Depot, they got them like fifty for a dollar, bro. 
Oh, that's one way to do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to your local Home Depot, go to your local Lowe's, get yourself some hand warmers, and then come in and open a butt for your butt sandwich. That's how we do it here. <laughs> You right. give them out selectively. You give some of your homies, the guys you want to lose, they don't get it. <laughs> they know and, what they did. And that's how you get the brackets runs going. <laughs> <laughs> I hear, I believe we're going to, yep, we're going to A PS2. PS2. They make the best games. Speaking of PS2, tell me why Pokemon Scarlet and Violet look like a damn PS2 game. <laughs> that's that's a huge disservice to PS2 games. Exactly. Pardon me. <laughs> Now we're looking at oh we gotta change the color palette. Now we're I think the uh, the adaptations that could probably come from this is that they need to just play a bit more grounded, even though how sometimes the like, Greninja is able to keep those uh, uh -huh. um get the low profile and in those fast jabs tilts, but I think it should be like you need to shield those and get those grabs and parries in like that get those openings. Now, if you're Harsnow in this situation, like you saw what happened game one, yeah. like, it was, it was his game to win yeah. for a large part of it. But now, like, what would you adjust? I would adjust the placements of the aerials and get to a position where Greninja has to either jump first mm -hmm. and get those aerials out, or just with a uh, substitute that yeah. works too. And try to try to get because I've rarely seen. Uh, I've rarely seen the neutral B counter in this one. I've rarely seen that. And oh, ooh, the catch. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, oh, I saw that coming from a mile away. Harthno didn't. That took that took his stock. Oh yeah. We'll probably be a little bit more wary of it now, but that's just how this character do. Mm -hmm. You can tell at the at the at the percentage. You can tell what uh, Greninja would want. Mm -hmm. Greninja wants at lower percent. Greninja wants you to either jump or wants you to stay grounded so you can get those uh, aerial uh, openers. So you can get those um, aerial and tilt followers, mainly up tilt. Right. Oh, here we go. Oh, misses the misses the neutral air. Got that though. Oh. Yeah. I think this is turning a lot around a lot for Harsnow, but needs to you can't get too antsy. <laughs> that could have been an opening to just mm -hmm. help combo of whoop ass. Mm -hmm. air, the air game is Greninja's biggest strength, oh. but it's also his biggest weakness. I'm sh I'm shocked he lived that. Oh, like, he that forward air is strong. I'm shocked that he didn't get hit by the neutral air. That that'll do it. That goes. Here we go. We see the hand. We see warming up the hands. Out of it. MGW. When he gets to, when he gets those Ooh, hand warmers, baby. you gotta you gotta you gotta be careful. If that was me, I got hit. Yeah. That. And and he's proving that he got Black Air Force energy right now. <laughs> <laughs> On the real. That said, he still has a little bit of work to do to make this a truly even game. Yeah, but you're you're slowly trying to get into the your opponent's head because he knows that the um what Peach wants is mainly mainly to get those uh, aerials. You gotta mm -hmm. you gotta recognize the positioning. Thank you. You gotta recognize the positioning that that you and your opponent are at to get a gauge of what your opponent would want to do to either put you in a position where you can get get uh, edge guarded Ooh. or get killed. I'm expecting like yeah, expecting um float cancel aerial towards the sides. So oh if he went I, I couldn't that, even see oh, Goodbye oh. I love that. Innovative. In like Greninja's counters is one of the very few that kind of guarantees the punish if your if your recovery has a hitbox anyway. Yeah. And like I was saying, for oh yep, that's mm, it. Like I was saying, based, but, uh, for for that, um, I was I was bringing up the fact that we didn't see we didn't see uh, the neutral B counter. We saw that at the end of the game, with, which was probably a mix-up that he wanted to get killed right. for. But I'm surprised we like there's some things that we haven't seen of that 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 side B. I gotta I gotta have that. That has to be clipped. Somebody clip that, please. <laughs> but 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to date myself by saying this, but uh, can we get an odd shot in the chat, please? Oh, yeah. Please. The folks at home can't see me, but my hands just uh, started turning nice and prune. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you only got one way to go. Yeah, and that was that was the. You want to go up? Oh, I'll, I'll help you go up. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Super de duper untackable. That's something. Oh, that's something yeah. you gotta watch out for on that stage. But you won't get that here because now MGW has opted to bring things to Kalos. Run it back. Oh, we, we didn't even see this stage, but no. Who do, who do you think this wide stage benefits more? I don't know. Maybe the character who originates from this region. I mean, yeah, he does have home court advantage, but now Peach has a lot more room to move in the, with the floats. Now they have a lot more room to can to punish those dash ins, dash outs mm -hmm. with those aerials. You can tell you can tell what Peach would want in terms of the positioning, but you have to you have to recognize that at some points it's just not going to work anymore, which which would require. It's something else to I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Something else to consider just um because of you know Greenwich recovery the way it works. Now we have walls. He can stick to them if need be as low as possible and Peach really can't go down there to contest it. Maybe throw a turn up, but by then you know, Greenwich is probably already back up. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a back air. It was either a back air or up air, which probably could have been uh, upper. Probably could have dragged down and put him in a worse situation. But yeah. we we don't we don't see. We probably won't see that. Just took the safe route. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, barely missing the neutral air. Oh, did you did you see the pure verse on that? Yeah. Oh baby. Uh, like, a lot of that's a blink and you miss it moment. Yeah, a lot of the characters that you see are able to use that as a way to recover, but not a lot of people go for that. Oh, that's a the weak oh there it is, yep. Almost so that getting the weak hit of Nair, but uh, pull through. However, he needs to chill out. He needs to chill out. He can't, he can't jump the gun like this. He needs to wait to get that opportunity because you know Peach's float is going to get, the, get Peach to safety. And like I said, this is this, these, this space that uh, Kalos has is becoming a forward in uh, MGW's side now. You can see MGW trying mainly to force those interactions, but so, at some point he needs to recognize he doesn't need to. He has Water Shuriken. It's worth mentioning this is also a very strong Pete stage too. Exactly. Right. <laughs> she's able to float, and she's got the two platforms on the side to just very greatly assist her with landing. Figured I'd point that out. And that, was, and that was the thing. That was MGW's counterpick, too. Mm -hmm. So this might be a crucial mistake on his part. We'll see if uh, he can make the stock happen. Just, I think at this point, up throw should definitely kill, even with Kalos' oh, yeah. tall ceiling. I wouldn't, with that rage, yeah, could. with this rage, it has to. Though Greninja standing... Okay, four is going to do it. Now it's got to be... Only took 185. It's it's fine. It's yeah. fine. We're, we're, we're rushed down characters. Yeah, we, we, can, can... we can make up that percent in no time. Just need the right opening. Just need the right opening and the right position. And Harsno is n opting not to get that to him for free. Oh, yeah. that's And Peach has the ability to... Oh, nah. He has no jump. He wanted, he oh. wanted that jump. He wanted that jump call so bad. Now he's in a position where he can't jump anymore. He's not a, He's not in a position where he can get those uh, neutral air openers. Oh, my lord. The only thing you really do is space forward air. He needs, to, he needs to cool off. Cool off. Reset tempo. Take your time to sit on that angel platform. Oh, he wanted He wanted, He wanted. wanted to side be so bad. He, in my opinion, that's put him in worse positions sometimes when he doesn't go for it. It needs to be like a solidified read. Right. And it, it wouldn't have killed, but it's just tacking on damage, which yeah. you need. Back on the platform. That tricky dash tech. The only, they only tech, they only have tech in place for quite some time now. That's one thing. That's one thing MGW could take advantage Ooh. of. The spacing that MGW has always gone for these four airs. Harsno has always jumped. Harsno has always jumped out of shield, trying to get those quick anti airs. Both of oh, them wanted to clash the down airs. They wanted to play footsies, classic Street Fighter stuff. But okay, 
We're in the wrong game. Uh, but now it's becoming now it's becoming that he's taking too much damage. This is a lot of extra credit that uh, Hard Snow get, is getting off of this. But is oh, it too little, too late? It. it is not. I don't think it is. That was a beautiful IDJ fair. This is the first set that we have tonight. If this is the first set, what else is gonna happen? I mean, I, I said I said when we opened up the stream, everyone turned up. No. Oh. oh. Oh no. I felt that I'm just like, don't jump. Don't do it. Don't let it be you. I am a Ryu main. I know when to not jump. Can't be, please. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a miraculous comeback if it happens. I'm oh. I'm not gonna count out the out the run possibility. Like these characters are both very explosive when they get going. A realm of possibility is about to go into the shadow. Oh realm in no! A Yep, that, you that cannot, was a trap right there. That was a trap right there. You cannot miss any text. Not at this uh, juncture. Oh, oh wait Hunt. a minute. Wait Can a you? minute. Wait a minute. No. Something ain't right. Wow, the very, oh, very late that Nair. That was a grab there. Saving him. Oh, no. That's a trap. That's a trap. No Can't punish. Jump. Oh. Is that going to? Oh, no. my God. Is that oh. going to? No. Hold on, hold oh, on. Oh, Tony got him. He got up way too early. Hi, Toad. <laughs> Surprise appearance. Toad versus Frog. Who will win? I wonder. This is, no. this is a hype set. This is a hype set right now. Oh, oh it's, down to, it's down to the wire now. The next the next big mistake is going to decide it. Oh, now that could have been up there. Oh. <laughs> Water Shuriken doing it. So oh. Yeah, he jumped way too early. He couldn't have... <sighs> he can't, caught he him, can't, caught him jumping out of shield. Mistakes. Oh, but uh, I mean, that was just high octane at that situation. The set going to Harsno, which uh, I mean, that was, again, that was our very first set. That was what oh, a boy. set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we get, we, it's getting spicy already. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. The venue, the venue might be cold, but Ooh. these uh, these plays, these matches, not just the right way to warm this place up. Exactly. We out here, rain, well, not really rain, but rain, sleet, or snow. We out here, we're, we're ready to work. We're ready to work. Get ready to work, homie. That's just the mentality. That oh, that almost went to time. That almost went to time. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I am I am shocked. Ah. Oh. Nani. Caught out the jump squat. You can't, you can't, you can't. And that's the thing. You got to know when to not jump. At that at that position, you could re you could just reset tempo. I mean, you could have gotten you could have gotten anti aired if you went off the side of the platform. Right. But at one position, there's ways where you could just either either jump and air dodge backwards mm -hmm. or simply just dash back. But that's the case with other characters. Greninja has horrible out of shield options. That's what I was gonna say. Cause like you're. Like, in this situation, back and forth, no matter what character you play, you're going to be throwing up shield a lot. It's just the thing we do. It's, exactly. It's as simple as, like, you know, jumping, baiting anti and Street Fighter or any other fighter, really. I, I play a lot of them.